Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to St. Bart's. This is kind of a special flight. Because what we're doing today, we're in the 172 G1000. And this is my first flight in the very latest beta update. Uh, 127.14. So, high hopes here, ladies and ladies and gentlemen. I've got nothing loaded in here. Uh, it's all stock, pretty much anyway, except for the stuff for my, uh, what do you call them, Bravo, which, let's see, alright, let's go, rotating beacon on, mixture is rich, there is no carb heat, master and battery switches on, avionics master and battery switch on, yeah, bus one and bus two. They should both go on, but for some reason they didn't. Let's see here. All right. And uh, now that we've got that open, let's crack the throttle. Let's make sure the parking brake is on, and it is. Uh, fuel is on. And... Make sure there's nobody out here to maim. I don't see any potential victims. Good start. Magneto's back to both. Let's come up to... 1,000... 1,000 or so on the throttle. Looking good. Let's go nav and strobe lights on. They see this is something that's been going on uh, the last two last couple flights I had I don't know what the deal is I really don't know what the deal is with this uh, Yeah, I mean, that's correct. This. Uh, maybe that's why? Maybe that's why. The buttons and switches weren't enabled for whatever reason. <laughs> now it's not doing anything. Whereas before, at least it did something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, we are... Uh, we're up and running anyway, so let's just do what we came to do. It's a little weird. I it, The thing just started happening, like, yesterday. There's no real reason for it. It's been 118.15 in case uh, San Juan comes on. Uh, yeah, from one day to the next, uh, a bunch of the switches started acting strangely. Uh, I can't turn on my uh, radios at all in the Just Flight Warrior or the Britain Norman Islander. Don't know what's up with that. But, uh, I mean, everything seems to be working. I don't know. Uh, Alright, let's engage the brakes. Um, release the parking brake. I'm going to go... Uh, oh, yeah, I can't, so... There you go. See, I can't even I can't even turn the lights on. I don't think that's a problem with this beta specifically because it was doing it in the last beta. Got the uh, one zero one six. It always says one zero one six. At least I kind of feel that way. Alright, 1016. Alright, parking brake is released. Let's lean the mixture. I probably should have done that a while ago. 
Um, so yeah, so unfortunately I have no... No... Uh, lights, which, I mean, for day VFR I'm fine, but at least as I'm... I don't know. I don't know why that's happening. But... As the French would say, sieste la vie. That was a joke, by the way. I'm actually learning French, which I never thought in my life I would say. I speak German. I've spoken German for more than half my life, actually, now that I think about it. Transponder, VFR, uh, squawk altitude. I got my purple needle, that's what I'm looking for. I, mean, I like me some purple needles. I don't know how you guys feel about your needle colors. Um, up on that side, down on that side, up on that side, down on that side. Uh, Eps are indicating all the way down, all the way down on that side. <laughs> all the way down on that side they are now indicating up all the way up on that side all the way up on that side check the elevator elevator is moving correctly so my flight controls are free and correct as you can tell I have a little bit of a cough sorry about that but uh, yeah let's just get it going I'm not gonna do a run-up so Mixture rich. We're going to go fuel pump on. Love to be able to turn some lights on. Can't do it. Not allowed to do it. Actually, you know what? If I. <laughs> yeah, let me turn this off first. And then hit this switch. And for some reason, both of those lights come on. Let me see if I turn my. Ah, look. If I turn my pedo heater on, my landing light comes on. What? <laughs> okay, now I'm truly confused. Now the lights operate using the switches on my Bravo which are not set up for the lights so now I really don't understand what's going on okay whatever um, they're probably they must be double entered somehow I don't know I don't care uh, let's see 122.8 just want to double check we don't have a controller and we don't all right uh, St. Bart's traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo taking runway 10 for departure to the north, St. Bart's. Have a quick look out here, not that it really does you a whole lot of good at, at St. Bart's. Alright, let's get ourselves on center line here. Yeah, you can go. Come on, you can do it. Heading indicator checks with the runway number. Takeoff power is coming in. Takeoff power is set. Oil pressure is in the green. I'm using right rudder, which is a little different for a Microsoft a Sobo airplane. Feels like some stutters there a little bit. Uh, and 65 and rotate. So, okay, no, 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 last video I made I was kind of complaining pretty incessantly about the constant yo-yoing of the pitch attitude of the airplanes and it is certainly not any different now I'm going to go to 1600 feet it's going to drop to 
55 knots, and then the nose is going to... It's just, it, for, since... I want to say... Uh, since the second beta release, it has been a constant, constant yo-yo in the pitch attitude of the airplane. Uh, to the point of absurdity. It's, it's just like... just this constant up down up down and uh, you trim the airplane you think you've got it you know trimmed well and it just starts doing it again pauses are still there uh, I'm not quite sure what, <laughs> what they well geez what they fixed thus far See, here we go again. It just... See, it's down to 150 feet a minute. Now it's going to zoom right back up to... Let's see... You know, uh, airplanes don't do this. I'm sorry, they don't. Push the nose over 50 feet below our cruise altitude. Uh, set it at about 2370. By the time I get done trimming it, it should be up to 2400. See, and again, I mean, the nose is down, now it's going to... I don't know. I... I mean... There's no convective activity out here. There are no clouds. If there was convection, there would be clouds. There are no clouds. This is live weather. There are no clouds. And, uh, I mean, are you going to tell me that going over that is what caused my turbulence? Because if that's what you're going to tell me, I'm going to tell you that you are silly. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to sit here and watch the airplane do whatever it wants to do. Uh, if you haven't guessed, I'm pretty frustrated at this point with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um... See, and I guess we're just now going to... See, it just... Constant oscillation. Now what I'm going to do... I'm going to I'm gonna trim it out. I'm going to trim it out. Okay. I mean, if I even can... You, you can't even trim the airplane level. It won't even do that. I mean, it's just...
Crancast traffic, uh, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo is 7 miles to the south inbound runway 12 Crancast. And I'm just going to sit here and watch. See, now we're level. Let's see how long this lasts. No convection over open water. There's nothing here. Those pitches up for no reason. Nose down. Nose up. Nose down. And the thing is, the oscillations get bigger as opposed to smaller. You see this? Now it's 450 feet down. Fifty up. I'm not touching anything. Now 250, 300, 350, 400, 450. And now we'll nose dive. Five fifties. You know, and there's just, there's no longitudinal stability of the airplane at all. None. 500 feet down. See, it gets bigger and bigger. Now 700, 750. It's not how an airplane behaves. Look at this now, 7 down, 750, 800. I haven't touched anything in quite a while now. 450, 500, 600, 650, 700, 800. You know, and so, um, I... I'm just, I'm just not enjoying this anymore, you know? I just don't enjoy it at all. The last couple of data updates, I mean, all I've been doing was, is flying back and forth to, uh, well, not even back and forth, but because St. Bart's, forget it, I mean, it's just not even, it's not even possible. Um, all I've been doing is flying to, uh, grand cast to see how ridiculous the turbulence is and my hope was my hope was that uh, see now I try to trim down and that doesn't do anything well it does it overcompensates actually I, I just don't know uh, I think when this comes out uh, there is going to be a howl <laughs> like you've never heard and you know and the beta has been a mess the beta has been a complete mess because you if with everybody wanted a public beta uh by the way i got thrown out of the beta forums i got thrown out of the the forums entirely because i just got so sick of reading all this nonsense so there's a whole bunch of people posting in the beta forums that aren't even in the beta. And I'm talking at uh, the forums at flightsimulator.com, like the official Microsoft Flight Simulator forums. There's a bunch of people posting in the betas that aren't even in the beta. They're, they're using Sim Update 9. And they'll post, hey, I'm, I'm not in the beta, I'm using Sim Update 9, but blah, 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 blah. Well, if you're not in the beta, then uh, why are you posting in the beta forums? I don't understand. Uh, number one. Um, and then there are, there are tons and tons and tons of conversations about what frame rate we're getting. What's your FPS? What's your FPS? My FPS is, ooh, my FPS went down from 63 to 53. Oh my gosh, the world is going to end. And it's just such nonsense. 
there's there's nothing being done in the way of actual testing. Nobody's actually testing anything. It's it's in my opinion just a bunch of see and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Uh, it's just a bunch of people that wanted early access to features of Sim Update uh, Ten. Grandcast traffic. Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo left down when runway 12 Grandcast. We go fuel pump on. And so the, the there's very little actual testing going on. Um and there's just so much gibberish in the forum that it's really hard to know what is really going on and the next thing is like so I posted a, f a thread about I started a thread about uh, this essentially the fact that the fact that uh, Grandcast traffic Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo is turning a three mile left base runway 12 Grandcast um started a thread about the fact that uh, the turbulence is absurd and it's actually probably the most posted in thread in the forum but uh, I don't know I mean, you get a lot of people that... Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Micro Romeo turning a 3 mile final for runway 12 Grandcast. Uh, a lot of people think it's okay, I don't know how, but I'm telling you, when this gets released, uh, there is going to be a howling like you have never heard from the flight sim community and everybody who talked to, and the reason I got thrown out really was because I started a thread about keeping the beta closed because this this to me is not a beta it's just it's completely gibberish it's, it's just a bunch of people chatting uh, not beta testing and um You know, and everybody said, oh, the old, you know, the closed betas, they didn't catch this problem, they didn't catch that problem. They, they did. Um, they were more effective than, than this beta at catching issues. But anyway, um, I can already tell that the things that I was hoping would be different in this version are not, so it doesn't really matter. Grandcast traffic. Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo short final runway 12 Grand Cass. Uh fighting again. Alright, 65. Ready for some rock and roll, watch this. I mean that little itty bitty bump at the end of the runway gives you this massive upshoot. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. So, uh, the turbulence is ridiculous. Uh, the airplanes have absolutely no stability at all. I don't know if it's the airplanes that don't have any stability or the atmosphere doesn't have any stability. There are people who 
have measured the frequency of gusts and say the gust frequencies are too you know too too close together that beats the beats the crap out of me i don't know what i do know is that it's not fun to fly it's just not fun to fly grand cast traffic skyhawk 172 micro meal clear the runway grand cast so make of it what you will uh i think we are getting we are all getting this beta in a couple of days maybe a week i forget what the actual date is today is august 12th i think it's the 19th maybe 18th so next thursday or friday but i'm telling you people are gonna it looks great i mean performance is pretty good um performance of the first beta was unbelievable performance of the first beta was awesome all right everything off let's put on the parking brake lights are off make sure idle cut off throttle is idle uh, let's turn the avionics master off before we turn the mat the before we turn the magnetos off then we'll turn the master and battery switches off so I don't know um, like I said I, I just think that uh, I think we're in for some really unhappy flight simmers when this gets released and I place a lot of the blame on an absolute gibberish uh, beta. I mean, it's it's the 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 inmate the the inmates are or the, the the patients are running the asylum in the beta, in my opinion. Everybody wanted an open beta so that the betas would be perfect, and it's turned into a free for all with very little information that's actually related to the beta and related to you know the the sim itself and errors and stuff all it is is about how many frames per second i get with my 3090 ti and you know uh i think it's uh, instead of focusing on you know things that we should be focusing on in a beta so whatever you know uh you guys will get this in a week i honestly i don't even feel like flying it I, I just don't i mean this is this should be a cakewalk of an approach in this airplane uh i'm an instrument rated pilot like i can fly an airplane and um uh, it's difficult it's flat out difficult to land and so uh let's see what happens you know with people that um you know, I'm not saying I'm any better than anybody else, but like if you're if you're a simmer and not you know, not a real experienced pilot, or not a real experienced simmer for that matter, it's gonna be I think you're gonna have a tough time. And I don't know what, what solution they have for it. So anyway, enough of me talking. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, let me know what you think in the in the comments. Bye bye.